beaches, rivers, in breach of safety protocols to be ordered closed immediately. A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the People's Forum of In the Streets with Big Stone. As of today, all beaches and rivers in breach of safety protocols established to curtail the local spread of the coronavirus will be closed with immediate effect. This warning came from the Minister of Local Government and Community Development, Desmond McKenzie, who noted that non-compliant beach and river operators as well as patrons could face possible prosecution under the Disaster Risk Management Act. Under the Act, persons in violation of the safety protocols can be fined up to one million or spend 12 months in prison. This onus will be on the beach and river operators to satisfy the authorities that they have put in place all the protocols before they are allowed to reopen. The minister said in a statement to the House of Representatives on Wednesday, July 1st. In ramping up enforcement measures, which will involve the police, Mackenzie noted that all beaches and rivers will now be strictly monitored by the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ODPEM, and the Social Development Commission, SDC, which will be surveilling these establishments to ensure that the protocols are being observed. The SD capacity will be boosted by the employment of some 250 temporary workers across the island. In addition to ensuring compliance, this team will be sensitizing the operators about the importance of enforcing the protocols. The SDC capacity will be boosted by the employment of some 250 temporary workers across the island. He further informed. Mackenzie noted that the decision to shut down beaches and rivers in violation of safety protocol has been taken in response to the high rate of non-compliance that has been observed at these facilities. He informed that over the weekend, 63 beaches and 74 rivers were visited and it was observed that 67% were not in compliance with the rules. The beaches of individual protocols were even more serious, where some 97% of people visiting the beach and rivers last weekend did so without wearing any masks as required under the protocols. Some 66% did not practice social distancing, he pointed out. He noted that many operators of these facilities also failed to obey and enforce the protocols, pointed out that among the violations were the hosting of parties and other prohibited events, including a football tournament held at El Shabiz last weekend with more than 800 people. It is vital that all who operate and visit these facilities obey the COVID-19 protocols. I say once again that the manner in which people use these recreational spaces will determine whether they remain open or closed, Mackenzie further reiterated. The safety protocols were put in place in tandem with the conditional resumption of general access to public beaches and rivers on June 7th. Following the, the closure, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The reopening, which was for an initial period of 14 days, was extended. I understand how you feel, Mr. McKenzie, and we understand that most of Jamaicans are not taking this pandemic serious. Even though we managed to keep our numbers down, a lot of people have been asking me questions in the streets. The question that they asked was, Big Stone, tell me something. Have you ever met anyone that has contracted COVID-19? And to be honest with you, 
I had to safely say I've never met anyone in Jamaica that died from COVID-19. Uh, they're saying that they have done surveys and the surveys are showing them that people are not dying from the virus as other countries stated. We know for a fact in Jamaica that 10 people have died from the virus. We're not waiting for a thousand to die. What we should do, Jamaicans, is follow the protocols. Follow the protocols set out by the government. And if you follow the protocols uh, to a T, I'm sure the, the hands will be not forced to close these beaches. Because, Mr. McKenzie, the time is extremely hot now, sir. I am a 63-year-old man, and to be honest with you, I have not seen no hotter days in these past few months since this COVID pandemic. We just had the Sahara Desert come on. Our respiratory system need to be aired out. We need the beaches. We need the rivers. So fellow Jamaicans, try and comply. And I think also, Mr. McKenzie, to be honest with you, if you did a survey and 67% of beach owners and river owners or river goers are not complying, then lock down those particular beach and river. If they're not complying, lock those down. But the ones that are complying, I don't think the good should be suffering for the bad. We need our beaches. We need our rivers. This is the only place we have left to cool off. So please consider lifting this very, very important ban that you place on beaches and rivers, especially we are now in the middle of summer. Thank you very much for watching. Please have a comment in the comment section below and please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.